Good day, ma'am. I'm Ruth Matting, and I'm one of your students in Related Learning Experience, or RLE. For today's video, I'm going to do the link node assessment of my patient. But before everything else, we need to do the proper hygiene so that the safetyness of my patient and me is always. And also, we need to maintain the privacy of our patient by closing the door and closing the curtain. So, mom, I'm Ruth Matting and I will be your nurse to assess you from your lymph nodes. Yes, ma'am. Mom, can I get your name in age? I'm Iris Batalin. I'm 20 years old. So, mom, uh, we're, we're going to do the lymph nodes assessment so that we can see the consistency the tenderness, the mobility, the number of enlarged lymph nodes, and any arrhythmia in the affected area. Yes. So, I need to start it from your head, neck, and to your inguinal area. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so, uh, can I touch you already? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Here in neck and head and neck, there are one third lymph nodes that Located here, which is easily palpated. So here we can see here we can locate here the suboccipital, the retro and retricular lymph nodes, the submandibular, the submental, and then the superficial post posterior cervical, and then the cervical chain. Here in this area and then here we can f locate here the supraclavicular lymph nodes so we need to palpate them slowly and properly so that we can feel any enlargement of the lymph nodes or any affected area So palpate them properly and slowly. Okay, ma'am, we need to proceed into your axillary area. So, here in axillary, axillary area, we can find here the lateral, which is found here in the side here, and then the infraclavicular, and then the central, the subscapular, and then the pectoral anterior. So, we need to palpate them also slowly so that we can feel any affected lymph nodes or any enlargement of lymph nodes we palpate them slowly and then we can pal palpate them uh, properly when the hands is We can pop 
pick the hen it properly when the hens is relaxed by putting it down. So, we need to proceed to your inguinal or area. Okay, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. So, can you please lay down? Mm -hmm. So, here in inguinal area, it's divided by into two, which is, uh, so, which is horizontal and vertical group. We need to palpate them also slowly and properly so that we can feel any or we can palpate it and feel when there is any lymph nodes which is enlarged. also the spleen because uh, the spleen is included in, into our lymph node so that's not me that's not my be forgotten so mommy will just tell me so that you can feel any enlargement. 